Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the Supergirl solo film that is potentially coming up. We're going to be talking about some new looks at Sasha as the new Supergirl. So it's like a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to be going through that I think you guys will be very interested in seeing. Also remember Superman Lois premieres tonight with its episode 1, this is related, obviously it's Superman and Supergirl related because it's a spin-off of Supergirl, so we're going to be covering it tonight with a review slash breakdown straight away after it airs, so that's in the evening tonight. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So we got a few new looks at Sasha's version of Supergirl. And so these come from a few different places, one comes from this guy's Instagram, Aaron Bailey Art. And his version of Supergirl is very cool because it kind of shows off this kind of Man of Steel looking suit that definitely looks more like Henry Cavill's suit, but it has a kind of whiff of Melissa's Supergirl suit from the CW. And so I really like this and I just wanted to show off a few of these. And I did that in a video a few days ago and I'm probably going to do it as we get closer because we're probably going to get like a look at the suit sometime soon because The Flash is filming because it was just recently announced that Sasha is going to be the new Supergirl and she's going to be appearing in the Flash film. Right now we don't know how big of a role she's going to play, but I'm presuming we're going to get some sort of look at Sasha in the suit, but for now these fan arts give us a good idea of what she could look like in the suit. And so, obviously in this art, you get to see she's got her normal hair, she's brown hair, and in my last couple of videos on this, because we made two videos on it so far, people have been debating whether they want the normal Supergirl blonde hair, or they want Sasha's Supergirl to have brown hair because that's her natural hair colour, and obviously we can't decide. But I've given the point that I think it would be cool to have a different type of Supergirl, so I'm kind of down for this brown hair. I don't think she needs to dye her hair blonde, but that's just my opinion. And so, let me know in the comments down below, would you want her to have blonde hair or brown hair as Supergirl? But let's move on to the next thing, and this is another piece of fan art, and this one actually imagines Sasha in Supergirl's costume, and not just any Supergirl, but Melissa's costume on the CW. And so this is her most recent suit, and I love this suit, it's great, and I think this actually really suits her. So I'm kind of rooting for more along the lines of the CW Supergirl suit, so something more like what Melissa's worn over the years. Because I think, if this is to show anything, this looks amazing, and I do actually think it's better than the kind of Man of Steel suit that we get in the films. That's just my own personal opinion. I'm just more leaning towards this. However, I'm not opposed to a more Man of Steel looking Supergirl suit. Okay, so let's move on from these looks. Now let's talk about the Supergirl solo film. So for years we've heard about a Supergirl film being in development, we've heard rumours about directors coming on board, actors coming on board, but we never actually got anything really that concrete. However, it was recently said that the Supergirl solo film was getting put on hold to focus more on Superman stuff. And so that never came to be. As we never actually saw any new Superman projects being developed in the films, apart from the Snyder Cut, but that was already made by the time they were talking about a Supergirl film, and so there are no new Superman projects happening in the films. Obviously on TV you have Superman and Lois, but that is not the reason why Superman is not in the films, because they can totally do both simultaneously. And so with the announcement that Sasha's going to be Supergirl in the Flash film, it basically says Yes, the solo film is definitely going to happen, because now they've officially cast a Supergirl, they've taken that big leap forward, committing to a person, committing to the character, and therefore from that we can pretty much say nearly 100% she's going to get her own solo film. And obviously it banks on DC actually liking her version of Supergirl and they want to see a film, and they do tend to look at fan response, so if people are excited about Sasha's casting, which it looks like a lot of people are, and if people are very happy about her being Supergirl, when she actually premieres in the Flash film in 2022, then you'll see Supergirl definitely coming. And I'm sure they're going to decide before the Flash comes out if they're going to move forward with the Supergirl solo film, and it just seems really likely that with the DCEU introducing her in the Flashpoint film this year, well, they're filming it this year, and obviously it's going to come out later next year, it's pretty much setting up exactly what version of Supergirl we're going to see, what version Sasha's version is going to be like, and then from then, she will spin off into her own solo Supergirl film, and I hope they call it Supergirl, because 
I think the title Man of Steel, yes it's cool and it definitely relates to Superman, but for the average person out there who's just wanting to watch a superhero film, they're not going to know who the Girl of Steel is. They're going to know who Supergirl is because they're going to associate it with Superman or they're just going to know who Supergirl is. And so I'm not talking about comic book fans here because obviously we know who the Girl of Steel is. So I really hope they title this solo film Supergirl and I guess they can add something else along with it because they do that a lot but I'm just hoping for it not to be called the Girl of Steel. And so the introduction of Supergirl in the DCEU isn't out of nowhere because Man of Steel set up the idea that Supergirl would be coming because they definitely teased her. And so in Man of Steel, Clark Kent discovers this Kryptonian scout ship that had been on Earth for thousands of years. Inside it, Clark discovers several pods, some containing decomposed skeletons, while one pod is opened without anyone inside. And so there was a Man of Steel prequel comic that came out after the film, and so this confirmed that this would have been Kara. But I don't think they're going to continue directly on from Man of Steel, so there's a chance that what happened in Man of Steel was just a reference and maybe they don't use that origin because DC recently has been doing its own thing and they haven't necessarily gone along with like continuity as per se because they're making all these solo films and so I think making a Supergirl solo film would be best so I wouldn't be bothered if they branched away from this and they recreate her origin story and make it something completely new rather than following on but there is still a high chance that they're going to follow the comics and they're going to follow the TV show and basically every version of Supergirl we've seen in that they're still going to be cousins. So Kara Danvers or whoever she turns out to be, Kara Zorel, is going to be cousins with Kal-El. Obviously there's a chance that maybe they change the origin story and they make it something completely new that she's maybe just a normal Kryptonian who somehow got to Earth. I mean it doesn't even need to be set on Earth if they don't want it to be. But I just feel like with DC stepping away from the Snyder stuff, I feel like they're maybe going to do their own thing and they're not going to necessarily follow what happened in Man of Steel. And so in terms of her identity, obviously she's going to be Kara Zor-El, but in the comics she's had a few different names. And if they follow the recent comics and Supergirl, the TV show, they'll definitely go for Kara Danvers because that is the version of her that she becomes in the recent comics and in the CW show. So I feel like they're 100% going to go for that, but there is still a slight chance that they go the classic Linda Lee version of Supergirl. That's what she used to be called. And I just think it's much more relevant and a lot more people know who Kara Danvers is because in the comics, she is Kara zor and then her Earth name is Danvers. And so in the film, it will be interesting to see if they introduce the characters like, like the ones from the TV show, maybe introducing some original characters and bringing in people like Alex Danvers, I think it would be a no-brainer if they created their own version of Alex Danvers, incorporated Martian Manhunter, because we know the Martian Manhunter exists in the DCEU, and he's obviously a big thing in Supergirl right now, and so you would have all of these different characters that can potentially show up. So I feel like the film isn't going to ignore what's happened on the TV show, because it's been such a big thing and people are always talking about it and people know these versions of the characters and it's been such a big influence that it's even influenced the recent comics. They admitted that, that half of the likenesses from the show are actually applied to the comics so Supergirl looks more like Melissa Benoist. There is different storylines and different people so Supergirl's parents in the TV show were introduced to Rebirth. So basically they have a lot of options and I feel like it's going to be somewhat similar to the show although they're going to take some liberties. And so I think the last thing that we need to talk about is a potential Supergirl slash Superman movie crossover because we're going to be talking more about Melissa crossing over at some point very soon. However in terms of the films crossing over is this Supergirl film going to make way for a Superman crossover in that film? So it's likely, however, it doesn't seem DC is that committed to bringing Superman back to the big screen. Obviously they're hyping up the Snyder Cut right now, but that was shot before. And yes, they went back and did a few reshoots, but it doesn't seem like they are going ahead with any Superman projects, but they are going ahead with Supergirl because they literally just cast her. So they have plans for Supergirl. So there is a chance that Henry Cavill's Superman does show up in her film. I'm going to say it's pretty unlikely if I'm honest because it doesn't seem like DC is that committed to making loads of films with cameos from Superman. 
But that's about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to check out my Superman Lois video, which is coming out later tonight. Also, we have a bunch of Supergirl movie videos that we made over the past few days, which you can check out. So just go ahead and click on my channel and go find those. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.